Hi guys, it's me, Thrutastic Mom. I know it's been a while since you've seen me in a video, so I thought I would do a quick little video today, kind of like a car vlog. I had to get out and go to town and pick up a few things and take care of some business today. And uh, I thought, why not do a car vlog while I'm out here in the bright, nice sun and do a car vlog, hopefully. It don't look like the sun's on my face, so hopefully, you know, I'm sitting in a good area. I'm actually sitting in front of the Dollar Tree right now. I had to go in there and pick up a few things, and I think I'll show you that. I got about 10 things, but I'll show you what I, I picked up while I was in there. And uh, I just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit. Um, I have been a little bit MIA on YouTube, and <sighs> I think the last... The last video I did was my grocery haul, and I just, I was having a lot of trouble with my camera. Um, I actually had a really nice video where I went to Burlington Coat Factory, bought some new Christmas decor items, bought some, a uh, couple pieces of clothing for me, and I did the try on, so y'all could see it on me and everything, and the lighting wasn't good, and the, um, the voice, when I would talk, my voice would not, you know, line up with my mouth moving. I've never had that issue before. I don't know what the problem was. So my husband got me a, a new card. He said maybe my memory card's getting full, and um, sometimes they just get bad, and, you know, they'll make your phone, I mean, they'll make your cameras or your phones act up. So I got me a new card. I'm going to try that out. And, um, hopefully I can get back to making videos because I don't like it when I do videos and they're not clear or, you know, um, at the best quality that I normally give you guys. Cause I just, I've always had a decent camera and good quality videos and I want to keep it that way. So hopefully the memory card is what the problem is. I don't want to have to get another camera and, or send that one off, you know, but. Um, if I have to, I will. But anyway, I'm hoping it's just the card. I'm going to do a video soon with the card and the camera and see how that goes. But anyway, I had this wonderful Burlington um, video that I tried to do twice. And, of course, it messed up. So I just got aggravated with it and deleted it. I will show in my Christmas decor video um, some of the new pieces I picked up from Burlington because it was mostly Christmas items. To decorate with and then um maybe sometimes if i think about it i'll show you the new items i bought me a new coat and a new cardigan and a black shirt and maybe i'll mention those when i have them on one day while i'm doing a video but um yeah i had some good stuff i wanted to show you anyway um before i show you i'll show you the dollar tree stuff last I wanted to talk about my son's wedding, because I haven't really said much about that. I posted a picture or two online. I was kind of waiting for the um, the professional ones they got done to come back. Then maybe I'll post a couple of those. But um, the, the few I have is just where people were, like, snapping with cell phones, and it was a little dim in there, so the pictures ain't that great. But I may put in one picture I have here and show you the dress and shoes. Because I had asked y'all in that video, you know, what color shoes should I wear with my dress? And everybody, you know, was saying nude and silver. And and um, I was initially wanting to go with nude. But I couldn't find a pair of shoes that fit my feet good in flats. Because I have to wear flats. And the right color. I found a few, but they were more like of an orangey tone. And I'm, I just, I don't like that orangey tone nude. So, I ended up going with silver shoes. And I thought they looked great. Everybody was complimenting me on how beautiful the dress was. How pretty the shoes were. I got silver um, shoes with like these little crystals or rhinestones or whatever on top. And they actually sparkled in like a blue green in a couple of different colors so you know the blue green sparkles went perfect with the dress and all the sparkle in the dress and and yeah, i thought it was really pretty but they had a good wedding everything was nice they had a good turnout 
Um, it only started, you know, it did start probably 20, 25 minutes late, but um, it was real, it was still pretty. Um, I said I wasn't going to get upset when me and him did our mother and son dance, but I did, y'all. I picked out this beautiful song about, um, I can't think of the name of it, but uh, it was a beautiful song about him growing up and, and um, being you know, being loving and respectful and all this, and, and we were chatting a little bit while we was dancing, and I just, I just laid my head on his, uh, his chest, say, I want to cry now, just thinking about it, I laid my head on his chest, and I just bawled like a baby, <laughs> I was like, I told him, I said, I said, this is happy tears, it's not sad tears, you know, I said, I'm, ha I'm happy that I'm here to, to witness this, you know, because a lot, some mothers never get the chance to witness their, their uh children getting married or whatever i said you know so we were just having some little sweet sweet words to each other while we danced and and i just booed like a baby <laughs> i really did but it was so nice i enjoyed it and i got to you know dance with cash a little bit he was so cute he was the ring sheriff and he had a little badge i'll post a little picture in here so you can see that um, he was so cute. But anyway, it was a nice wedding. That was what I was getting to. Gotta dry that little tear up. Every time I think about that moment me and Chris had on the dance floor, it makes me tear up. Because it's, you know, if if you're like me, most mothers, you know, you're happy for your child, but, but you're, it's kind of like a bittersweet. It's like my son's grown got his own family moving on with his own life and then there's part of you is like wants to hold on to him and then be your baby and you still take care of him so it's kind of bittersweet moment you know but um it was really nice and i enjoyed it and it was nice to actually uh dress up like that i hadn't dressed up like that i just kind of just did my own hair and makeup and i did put on some false nails you know to have some cute nails so um Overall, you know, the look turned out pretty good. But um, that's over with. They've been getting married over a week now, and then they went on a little honeymoon. Um, I haven't been doing a whole lot except decorating for Christmas because I have a Christmas decor video coming up. I'm not going to wait till the week before Christmas and upload it this year. So um, I'm almost done. So hopefully, I'm not going to say for certain what, when. But hopefully by the 1st of December, I'll have it up. But um, I've pretty much got everything up. And I really, I thought after moving and everything that I, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be wore out. And I ain't going to want to deal with, you know, all that. But I have really wanted to put my stuff out. I don't know what it is. I'm like, I'm almost like wanting to do extra. And I didn't think I would be that way after just moving. <laughs> you know, in, um, the end of October, but I am, I'm like, I want to do all this little extra stuff this year, and, um, I'm doing the red truck theme, so I got a lot of red truck stuff in my, uh, in my home right now, so I will be sharing that with you guys, uh, coming up, hopefully sometime after Thanksgiving, because I want to get, make sure everything's right, y'all know I'll pick at it, and pick at it, and pick at it, and I get it where I'm happy with it, and then I share it with you guys, so, Anyway, Thanksgiving's coming up. You know, I hope y'all all have a wonderful Thanksgiving in case I don't get back on here before then. Um, I, um, I'm not doing a lot of cooking. I'm going to see my dad for Thanksgiving. So I may take one sweet down there and that's about it. So I probably will be doing more cooking for Christmas. So I'm going to actually share a, a, a recipe with you guys that I did last year, and it was such a, a big hit with everybody. So I'm going to make it again this year and take it to our Christmas party at church. And maybe if I got my mama's party. My mama usually has a Christmas party. So if she does, maybe I'll take them there again. But they're like um, cranberry cream cheese uh, pinwheels, and then I made my own cranberry sauce to dip them in with Splenda, and they were really a big hit. And, um, I think some people put something out. I forget what the other ingredient was in it, but I left it. Oh, I, I think it was onions. You put a little bit of onions in it, but I left that out because my aunt can't eat onions. 
but uh and she was happy i did that because she told him things up she loved them but anyway i'm thinking i'm gonna do a video and show you guys that and uh because they're really good and they would be really good for a party at christmas time but anyway um not a whole lot going on you know we're happy where we're staying um everything's been going pretty good i've actually met Several of the ladies, when I'm out in the yard, several of the different ladies around me have have been out in the yard, and they uh, have introduced themselves, which is good. I mean, I've got more introductions over there than I ever did living at my other place, and I lived there seven years. I only met, like, two people out of that whole trailer park um, in seven years, but um, three of the ladies have already introduced themselves to me around me there so I, I like that um but everything's going pretty good there's a lot of leaves i gotta deal with all those leaves so i either gotta get them up or cut them up i'm not sure yet what i'm gonna do but i gotta get all the leaves up but um everything's going good and we're content there we've we got our first power bill there we've been there about a month so um everything's going good and and you know we're glad it's over and um uh, you know, it was a lot of work, but it wasn't bad as I thought it was going to be. But I'm glad it's over, and we can just kind of get on. You know, now I'm trying to build my eBay store back up because I shut it down for a little while because I had all my stuff packed up, and I didn't want to have to deal with trying to find my eBay items and sh pack them up and, sh you know, ship them out. So I shut my store down for a little while, and then I sold some of my stuff out of my store at my yard sale I had when I had to move. So that kind of knocked down my inventory some. So now I'm trying to build back my inventory and, you know, get my sales. My sales are finally gradually starting to come back in pretty good. So i um, been working on that too, just trying to get that back going. Because it's not really good for an eBay store to, you know, shut down and have to restart back up and stuff like that. But sometimes you have to do it, you know, that's life. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get on with uh, what I got here at Dollar Tree. That way y'all can go, because I probably done rambled too much. But you can tell when I haven't talked to you in a while, you know, I'm like, oh, I want to talk. I want to tell you, tell you things. And um, hopefully I'll get back to making some videos if I can get my camera situation straightened out. Now, this is just some things I needed and wanted, so it's not nothing special. But I'll show you what I got since I'm here still at the Dollar Tree. I needed some bread, so I just picked up this family white bread needed some of that just for my husband's sandwiches you know I picked up I picked up these little window cleans they're the red trucks I thought those were cute so I'm gonna I got a little project I might do with these put them on something if they'll stick so um, I picked them up just in case I could use them for something. And they're nice for a dollar. I got this is the reason I came here. I needed some bulbs because I found me some really nice um, like candles to put in my windows. I haven't never done that. And I've always wanted to. I just love the look of seeing somebody's home with with the candle in each window. Well, first of all, I was like, well, I'm going to pick some up, which is just, it just shows you how good God is, because every time I need something, I find it at the thrift store. No joke. It may be the next time I go out or the, the next time or two I go out. I always find it, so I always kind of wait. And you wouldn't believe how many times uh, the Holy Spirit has led me to say, go go in here. And, and when I'd go in there, it would be what I needed in that place. So, um. I was thinking, wow, and I always say it out loud because it's good to speak, you know, what, you, uh, what you're what you wanting. It's always good to speak it out. So, I'm like, I want to get me some candles to put in my windows. I got like, I want to do the one corner window because you can see it from the road. And then the, my front, all my front windows. And it was the very next time I went thrifting, I found the candles that I wanted. And it wasn't just these little cheap ones you can get like at the Dollar Tree. These were nice. These had timers, sensors, had weight to them. And I was like, oh my goodness. And it was the exact amount I needed. And I was like, yes. So I got all of them for like two bucks. And they're really nice. They're not, I don't know where they come from, but they're, they're not cheap. 
But anyway, I went and got some flickering bulbs because I thought that's what I would like. But I didn't like them because they looked too too red looking. And I'm like, eh, I don't like the way that looks. So I took them back. And then I said, well, I'll just go to Dollar Tree. I know they got these cute little clear lights. So I picked up two packs of these little clear bulbs to put in my candles because that's what I wanted. I like that look better than them move I love the flickering candle but they looked reddish orange flickering I didn't like that and now if they had been more like the white like the regular bulbs then I would have been fine with it but I just didn't like the way it looked anyway I noticed they had this little bottle of goo gone so I went ahead and picked that up because I'm out of goo gone and normally I buy a bottle that's like five dollars at the grocery store a big bottle but since they had that and I don't have any. I just figured I'd go ahead and pick that up for now for a dollar. That stuff works great when you got to clean off stickers and, and tape from Goodwill. Taping up all their stuff. That gets on my nerves so bad. But, you know, they do it. So I got that goo gone. I got me a drink. I got me a Diet Dr. Pepper because I haven't had a soda in about two days and I'm like I want some Diet Dr. Pepper at least it ain't a Coke I used to drink Coke real bad and I kind of quit doing that um, I just picked up some sandwich bags because I need some of those for my husband's lunches and I got two packs of chicken gnocchi because y'all know in the cold weather I make chicken gnocchi I love it so I picked up this potato pamper I think it's pamper yeah Pampa potato gnocchi, two packs of those. I just always like to have a backup. And then I picked up this pink Himalayan salt. I was surprised they had this. Himalayan's finest private uh, reserve pink Himalayan salt in fine. I hear a lot of people talk about this. They say it's good for lowering your blood pressure and stuff. So I thought maybe I'd try. And I've heard a lot of people talk about I even seen somebody that carried it around in their pocketbook. They loved it so much. And used it, you know, like when they went to restaurants and stuff. They'd use their own uh, pink Himalayan salt. So, I mean, and look how big a pack that is. I mean, that is a, what's that say? Let me stick my glasses on. That is a one pound, yeah, 16 ounce bag. 16 ounce bag of salt for a dollar, Himalayan salt. I don't know how much it costs in the stores, but I thought that was a good deal for Dollar Tree. So anyway, that is everything that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I guess I'm going to go, y'all. I've been doing a lot of rambling. I just want to do a quick little update and tell you, you know, what's been going on with me. Um, I'll probably think of something else I wanted to tell you when I get off of here because I normally do. But right now I can't think of nothing else. But I just wanted to get on here and say, hey, happy holiday. I know Thanksgiving's coming up in a couple days. So if you're going to... Be with your family, be safe, and enjoy yourself. And keep your hands washed and wear your mask if you need to. <laughs> Whatever you need to do to make you more comfortable, you know, and make your family comfortable. But um, whatever you do, I hope you have a happy one. Whether you stay at home or you be with your family or friends, just be safe about it. So, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this car blog. If you are not subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and become a new internet neighbor of mine. And hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And uh, for those of you that's been with me forever, I thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for always supporting my channel. Um, I'm going to go. I love you guys. God bless. Bye-bye.